Hello everyone. Uh, so this is the stamp form for under £200. You can roughly get 90 stamps uh, as long as you haven't got odd sizes. So uh, 90 stamps. If you send in loose, if you send it in um, adhesive stamps, they're not to be stuck to the uh, letter. Um, you've got to send them in as. Well, I'm going to be doing. Oops, I'm going to be doing mine on uh, a swap over two hundred pound for adhesives because I've got quite a few of them, first and second class. So um, that will go on that one. Um, they are a bit finicky that, with um, how you form your your um, quantity, especially on the two hundred. It's um, and it's not very clear. It's uh, I, I'm still struggling with it now. I've already filled in two forms and can't get it right. Um, it just seems very odd the way they they they've written it on the form. I'll show you this in the next in the next video, another video. Um, so as you can see, there's four examples and four that are going to be you know these these designers are going to be left. Um, there's some things that have come across my mind um, while doing the over the 200 and it's you know they're saying they're swapping over only the Queen's heads the definitives um, why you know all you're doing is adding a barcode um, you're still keeping the Queen's head uh it's it just seems a bit odd to me I, I you know i agree with the barcode i think it's a brilliant idea i really do um but why are they, they why are they only selecting the queen's heads one stamps you know it doesn't really doesn't matter does it the, all, all that matters is, is that you're going to be getting barcoded stamps so the only time it would matter in uh in uh total is if um they're giving you uh different stamps for the the um total i'm sorry i'm not getting this clear it's because my head's it's, it's done in doing trying to do all this um so you've got number of stamps enclosed, number of stamps enclosed. Oh no, value. Value of stamps enclosed. <laughs> I'm a twit. Numbers of stamp in numbers of stamp enclosed and value. With the two hundred over two hundred, you've got this is what caught me out. This this was the second time it caught me out. Let me um just get out here for a minute. You've got Number of stamps enclosed, value of stamps enclosed, number of bags of 50, of no more than 50, and the postage costs because it's got to be done special delivery because you know it's quite you're going to get your money back because that's what it says postage costs. If if you're not worried about the postage costs, don't fill it in, but if you are, just yes or a tick. So they're pretty clear on that, it's quite good. Um, I'll do that in a minute. Um, so I prefer this way. I prefer this way because if they're stuck to the form, you can't say um, that things have gone missing or falsification. Um, I know that it'll be extremely hard because, like I say, you're only getting ninety stamps to. A, to a sheet to a form this way whereas with, with the over 200 you can just bag them up um but it's uh, just a bit of a uh, the way they've worded it i'll we will go i'll go through that um 
yeah so d stamps which was um like <laughs> Which are like these. Oh God, you know, I've got stacks of them. So these will always, for the moment, for the moment, be um, as they are. And what's the the thing that again makes it? Hang on a minute. Jeez. Oh, the thing that makes it a bit funny as well at the moment. Oh, these poxy phones. I think I am. I think I'm gonna get a. Um, I'm gonna get her a um, GoPro. Um, I've got. I've got hundreds of these. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Um, and they're all, of course, the majority of them are all low, low value. I mean, this is taken out. As you can see, that it's taken out quite a selection of from that bulk. Um, But it, the other thing that crossed my mind is, are they going to see the how what the response is like for the swap out? And then by that, whether they're going to take out the other ones. I mean, that would take me forever. Putting all those, bagging them up and everything. I just, I just don't think I could do it. Um, it would take me a lot of It would take ages trying to... You'd have to be really methodical as well. Um... <laughs> you're gonna see it on the other on the other one. It's really very very hard, and it's it's a stupid form as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I'd expect better on the two hundred over the two hundred. I really would. Um, you know, they're asking you to bag all these up. Um, I mean, I'm trying to restrict what I'm putting in bag in like bagging them up. It's you know because it costs money to get those little bags, those uh, druggy bags. Um, <laughs> um, so it, it just sort of, I don't know, with me, it, it grates, you know, on the, on the ground, on, on the, um, on the bind. Um, so, and here is how you, well, how I've done it. Um, I've got, <laughs> I've got up to, uh, nine peas um from that's that's half that's eleven and a half i've done it like that for that because of the half peas so that it stays even because uh, most stamp collectors know that um if i was to use those you have to if you're using like a half or eleven and a half you have to use two together so that it's a, a round figure they won't if you if you put one half on there or one eleven and a half, they will they the half doesn't count. So you you're you're doing away with half P. It's um again it's another one of those finicky things. Um that the real again the real problems come in. Um you see that those if you look at um, the definitive um, post and go, that's all that's on them is the Queen's head. It's only the pictorials on the post and go that doesn't. Um, I'm going to put a letter with this one. I'm going to put a letter with this one asking if that's so. Um, and I'm also going to ask them what the values uh, of certain stamps are because it it, <laughs> it gets really complicated when you're using stamps for using abroad uh, like the e-stamps um, you try finding out for sure for dead sure what the e-stamp is worth and you get very, on the internet you get various um, uh, um, what am I doing there? Various um, answers. Um, I had it down for one forty-five, one pound forty-five. 
Some of them are saying 170. Some of them are saying 180. Um, and I think the reason they're saying these things is because of the weight. See, with your with your airmail, um, the the weight is is restricted. Um, like uh, I can't I can't remember how it used to be. It was um, zero to ten grams, ten grams to twenty grams, twenty grams to forty grams, and then forty grams to a hundred. I believe that's how it was. Um, but in the post office or the Royal Mail's wisdom, they changed it. Um, I can't remember what year it was when they first did it, and that caused enough pandemonium. Um, and I couldn't. I wrote to uh, Royal Mail a number of times asking for a, a, a clear written response, and they, I didn't. They just palmed me off to from Royal Mail to the post office, and the post office would just do the same back to the Royal Mail. Absolutely stupid. And I never did, never ever did get an example, uh, 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 an official answer. I just got the answer from within a stamp club, um, and um, I sent things, say like a birthday, a, a Christmas card or a birthday card. Um, and that took you up to such and such in value. Uh, but because, again, it's not clear, they weren't clear with their pricing because they did away with certain values. And um, I think it's now 10, 10 20 and 40 is all one if I if I remember right I can't I can't off the top of my head uh, remember it and then it jumps to a hundred grams but the price also jumps it's just absolutely ridiculous what they're charging and um, so I got I got I like got loads of stamps with um, airmail um, you know Europe America, um, I just got loads of them, and it's really, really quite complicated. And um, I said to a fella, "Oh, when was it?" Um, in America, I said to him, "I said this was regarding eBay," and I said to him, um, "You know what eBay are going to be doing? They're going to structure it so that you have to go through, um, or they're going to make it." hard for you so that you do go through um their global uh shipping program americans seem to be doing that already i think it's again oh, excuse me it's my pack i'm sitting on the bed um it's because the customs and the and the mail is so vastly different you know, if you if you don't know what the system's like, um, it's really quite hazardous. Uh, and this all started a long time ago with me. Um, I I got a good deal, I got a really good deal in America with uh, Diana phone cards, and um, I I gave her an offer. I didn't actually bid for what she wanted. I gave her an offer. And um, she took it. She said, yeah, okay, that'll that do. Anyway, so, I, you know, you pay like you do. And um, next thing I know, about a week and a bit later, uh, there's a Royal Mail um, thing come through my door. Please would you phone up um, Royal Mail or contact uh, um, Customs regarding an item. Well, at the time, I was doing quite a bit with China um I, I, let's see if i can do this where are you going stupid my watch casio you can only get you can only get the stamps the stamps <laughs> idiot you can only get the straps from china um and they break that they, they go brittle and break it's terrible rubber a typical chinese um 
Yeah. Uh, and you know the this what I when I my my um my proper watch um was quite expensive, and it, it the um the thing stopped charging, and I can't remember the word they used for it. But uh, the things I know I'm going off the stamps here. You're getting bored with this, um. So yeah, and that's how it all came about. And what she did was she added the insurance to the item on on the, on the uh, customs form that she filled out, and that's how it got um, brought to their attention, and. Um, you know, I was flipping lucky, really. I was really flipping lucky because um, I was buying bulk from uh, America. On, I, I've had lots of, of, of bulk um, from America and got away with it because I even I didn't know um, what re, what the restrictions were, and um, yeah. I got I got caught. All the money that I saved on the deal, I lost through customs import import charges and customs charges. There were two of them I had to pay, and um, I did email her afterwards when I finished with customs, because um, that was a nightmare in itself. I said to her, I said, you know, I've been caught. Had you not put the insurance on there everything would have gone through there would, there would have been no problem because you added the insurance onto this form um which probably wasn't her fault that's probably the fault of the post person that was dealing with her and um that's what brought started the bells ringing of course once you've had the bells ringing on you you really got to be very careful really careful because if they well they will they'll have you on their list uh, customs and they they will be watching for your name creeping up because like I say I, I, I've got friends in America and I um I send them letters and birthday cards and Christmas cards and all the rest of it um so I send quite a bit over but anything of size you know um if you bought uh, let's say 20 FDCs first day covers um that would be flagging up because just of the size of the of the item, you know, um, it would take you over. Of on this country, it would take you over the limit. And of course, once the customs see that, they, if you, <laughs> the way I used to do it was just create a um, a fictitious um, thing. As soon as you say it's um, antique or, or or old, they will be looking. And there was another thing that I found out. <laughs> Caught totally like this. This um, Cambodia. If you sell anything in a collection from Cambodia, you got to be very, very careful because apparently, uh, well, it wasn't apparently. It is true um, because of the black market out there. Um, oh, I'm sorry, this is jawing about because of the black market out there. That's how they fund their. Uh, terror groups is by the black market and America is pretty tight on it um, you got to be careful that that doesn't happen because if that happens then you're being flagged up for something completely different um, it's like Canada that's another little quirky thing that Canada on, on the envelope they like to have your your, your sending address in the top left hand corner of the envelope rather than like everybody else you put it on the back of the envelope now Canada and and they were they were quite quite um religious of um where you put this and if you didn't put it at the front um nine times out of ten your mail would be returned to you and that's you know that's quite a bit of money we wasted to Canada so, you know, there's all these quirky little things you, you you need really to know. 
I, I don't, it's, it's like how I, uh, how Americans do it from going state to state and knowing what the law is. So it's the same thing with all of this. This is what's going on. It's all the same thing. Um, you're learning little things that you didn't know. But, um, yeah, this is, the, you know, the what you've got to do, all this, is, although it looks a lot, it's not. It's, um, um, quite easy. There's no, well, there isn't, there's no, there's no, nothing hard about it at all, is there? Do you like all the pretty colours? <laughs> Talk the old talk about the LBGT um, rainbow, yeah. Because um, these like these are all old stamps. These are go back to the seventies. Some of them, and um, yeah. Uh, and you see, you got you got definitives of that's Wales, that's Ireland. Uh, what Scotland? Scotland. Scotland, what was Scotland? I can't remember what Scotland, I haven't got you there. Um, Scotland. Scotland is usually a thistle, if I remember rightly. I'm not sure. Um, but I don't know whether Scotland is a thistle, thistle on these. When I first saw these, I thought they was um, very special, because they had this... Different it, to me, that looks like a police badge. That's how the police badge looks. Um, so I thought there was something funny going on. Uh, yeah, so that's England. Is is the lion? Oh, maybe. Hang on a minute. Oh no, there you go. That's that's got Scottish. That's the, the English. That's Northern Ireland or Ireland. Uh, Something like that, and it's um, maybe the English is not. Yeah, so the English is normal. One of the lot, I would assume that one. That one, no, that one must be Scotland. No, that one's that's Wales. I'm getting confused here. Um, I don't know if I can zoom in on that. No, it just goes blurred. There you go. So you've got a lion by itself. You've got a lion with. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's get me. Let's get me. Um. Well, I got the lion. Yes, that's the lion of Wales. That's the lion of Scotland, and that's. Uh, Northern Ireland. Uh, so there's your four, four um, parts. Um, I mean, the English did have the lion uh, in the flag, but um, then it went to the Union Jack. Um, or the Union Jack, is still the Union Jack. Um, yeah. So, yeah, there you go, that's that. And um, I should be sending that off this afternoon. Oh, I've got to do my letter next. What's the time? I don't know, I don't know what the time is. I've got to do my letter next. Uh, asking them about the post and goes and values uh, of other stamps. Um, yeah, so that's quite good. I think that is very good. No problems. I've got to add up all of that, so I'll probably put that in there. Uh, so I'm going to say TTFN and uh, let you get on after listening to all that rubbish that I've been spilling out. Thank you. Bye.